Hi again, uh, welcome to another video. And this here is my um, Land Rover, my Land Rover 110 um, back door latch and lock and everything. And yeah, I got in a right muddle. Um, well, it was the other week. Um, I um, it undid. Uh, we went to get all our stuff out to change around for the next day and all that. Shut the door, and this wouldn't open. Um, at the time, obviously, the barrel for the key was in it. Whatever I did with the key didn't make no difference whatsoever. Um, this would not move. I could not unlock it. I tried and I tried to sort of, you know, sort of keep turning the key and trying to lift it up, lifting up a bit harder. Nothing at all. I couldn't move it. It was jammed solid. So I thought perhaps something in the back had, was holding the lock switch up. Um, but... I couldn't get, I had to get in there to see if that was the problem. Um, as there's a bulkhead in it, which is all siliconed in and everything, that wasn't really an option. So in the end, what I had to do, the hinge side of the Land Rover, I had to undo the, the bolts down the hinge, and then they weren't captive nuts behind, but luckily I undid them slowly, and I managed to take the six hinge bolts off. So it did give me a little bit of space then, um, to sort of get my hand in there, but not enough to get right over to where this latch was. So um, what I had to do then was take the back window out. It was a big um, stress, uh, a big lot of stress, but um, yeah, um, I had to take the window out. So we got the window out and then I got in, I could get in then. And I was messing around with this for half an hour trying to do this. And in the end, and I'm gonna try and remember now how it went. In the end, when that, which way is it? When that, Oh, it is actually locked at the moment. That's actually in the shut position. Whatever I do, I won't undo. Whatever way that is, that lock, it won't undo. Well, since I took it out, actually a bit come out of it. And I've got to try and remember what I, t I pushed in this. Um, that spring is hanging out there, but that I did that afterwards. That wasn't the, the problem. But um, there was one little bit I had to push in on it, and then it allows that to um, undo. So I'll just see if I can do that here. Yeah, that's done it. All it is, you won't be able to see it, but there's a little piece right in there that I have to flick and then that'll come undone. So the door will undo then. And then locked again. So it doesn't do nothing. So I'll just flick that again and show you. So all I have to do to undo it, well, just have to lift that a little piece up in there and that allows the handles to move. I'll quickly show you as the handles start to go up. And that would undo it. So that was my problem. But the problem is, it's no good doing that because I need to be inside to flick that bit. So I had to buy a new piece, um, well, a whole new unit for this. Um, it was, um, yeah, it was slightly more expensive because it was on the uh, later model of the Land Rover. This is, they changed them around 2002 and the, my um, 110 is 2005. So yeah, this part was, um, 45 pounds so yeah that's the problem i had and um, i had to put the the window back in the same night the door back on and but i couldn't put this back on because once it's shut you can't undo it unless you're inside and you can push that little piece i just said like so so yeah and that pins are open so yeah it was no good so yeah i had to buy a new one so now you'll see me Bit in the new one. Um, I'll just explain to you in the shed what went wrong with the rear door catch lock on the back of my Defender 110. So now I'm going to fit the new one. I've got to put the new, uh, well, not the new, the old barrel back in it. And to get them out, there's a little spring loaded sort of little lug there. And that has to go in. I don't know how well you can catch it. It's right in there. You see, a little, you probably can't see a little hole. You might just catch it, but that has to locate into there. So I haven't got any type of grease or anything for it. All I'm going to just do is give it just a little bit of WD-40 in there. Probably should have had grease, but I need to get this done quite quick. So I've got to find where the little hole is, which is at the top. So I'll just push that 
barrel in and it has gone I'm not over happy with how that key works in that barrel but I'm going to put it on and then try it when it's more secure against the door um, the key's a bit worn I'll show you key well very worn I'm going to have to get another one cut I think purposely for the for the door really um, but yeah we'll get it fitted on and then see, see how it goes um, but I'm going to have to sort out that at some point the barrel actually doesn't look too worn I think it's more the key um, so all you just do is slide that in there like so there's like a gasket behind, like a foamy type gasket. And that on there, it's as easy as that. Yes, there's one on. Um, I'm just putting a little washer underneath and just using these new nylock um, nuts. It's one of them colder days where you, your hands are colder, so picking up small nuts and bolts isn't so good. So yeah, we'll just get these last two tightened up and then someone's going to have to go inside because I'm a little bit worried in case it doesn't undo. It shouldn't be a problem on this because it's no. I have noticed the end of that is worn off there already, the end of that little catch bit, which isn't great, but I might have a rub a bit off altogether to be honest. So yeah, I'll just tighten these up. Well, actually, I've, as I've done it, I might as well. So it's in closed position at the moment. So it must be locked. That will work fine. That's what it wasn't doing before. It wasn't lifting up. But now I've got to make sure um, my key works in it. So this is a few days later now. Um, my old barrel just doesn't really seem to work. Um, it will if I really sort of wiggle the key around in there, but yeah it doesn't really want to work at all so I bought a new one so to get this one out I press that button at the back again you might be able to see better in there there's a little just where my pick is there's a little button press it well little hole and underneath I just press that now around the other way and then just try to get this old barrel out which is coming Might be able to get the rest of that out with that. So that one will be no good now. Um, so there's a the new barrel. I have actually put some grease on it this time, but you can see some of them are missing there, but it must it must be how it's meant to be. My old ones had them pieces all the way up, but I'm gonna put it in, that's how it come. So yeah, so it's just a case of pushing it in there like so, and it's actually, it looks like it's working really well. It is working really well. Um, so what we'll do, we'll just clear up stuff inside and then um, someone better sit inside just in case it does happen to lock and then we'll do a final um, test. So we have tested it, it all seems to work okay. So it's actually undone at the moment. Shut it like that and that is locked. And then right hand side, unlocked. We're locked, so we now have a working lock again. Just see on there, if you look on that piece there, see how it's turning that. So yeah, we're all, we're all good. I'll just lock it once more. And then unlock it. And we're done. Um, I will probably just put a little bit of a little bit of WD-40 in there, not much, just a little bit, because as it's new, it'll just help it a little bit. But yeah, that's job done. So yeah, thanks for watching this video of replacing the rear door catch. And in the end, I had to do the barrel as well. So um, at least I know it's all, all new now and should be good for a good while. So thanks for watching and I'll be along with another video again soon. So bye for now.